Pearson Shaw. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, yeah. So, uh, so I pretty much like the basis like that we're going to cover. So, so yeah, like what has God been showing you and, uh, like just, uh, tell your testimony, like, like how did you come to know Christ and, uh, all that? Sure. Man, God's been teaching me, uh, and my wife Carly, a lot of stuff over the past couple of, uh, weeks, especially, and over the last couple of months and, and really the last year since, uh, we um, graduated college and moved from Mobile, um, but I'll get to that later on. But he's been teaching us a lot lately about uh, just trusting in him and resting in his promises and in his goodness. Um, I don't think it's any coincidence that my favorite book of the Bible is Genesis. Uh, it has been since I was a senior in high school. Just going through it and um, just reading the different promises of God that he says he's going to do this and he's going to do this. And then, of course, you know, there's the the prophecies and the foretellings of Jesus coming. And uh, we've been going through that with the youth group um, mm. in the whole, through the whole book of Genesis. We started in uh, January and we just finished this past Sunday. Uh, awesome. So it's been a, a really good study to go back through that again and to see the, the different promises that God makes and how he is uh, faithful to fulfill those promises. Uh, but I've seen that in my own life. Um, really over the last two months um, through a, a lot of different things about how God's been working through uh, the ministry that Carly and I are involved in and uh, the school system, um, how we've got some potential to, to reach um, students in a different way than what's probably considered to be normal and just uh, a bunch of cool things like that. And he's been teaching us to trust him and with our, uh, our finances and our time and uh, our relationship and just all kinds of things like that. Awesome. So, yep. That's uh, a very, that's a 30,000 foot view of, of what God's been showing us over the past couple of weeks. Awesome. But a little more specifically, um, there's been a lot of uh, things that have been going on in, in our, in our church family and, and in our family, just a lot of, you know, like you were talking about earlier, there's just uh, a lot of sickness and, and hard times in the world and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And just trusting in the fact that, that God's faithful and he says he's never going to leave us or forsake us. And that, uh, that if we just walk in him and we put first the kingdom of God, then he's going to provide everything that uh, we need. Uh, in addition to that, um, I was able to, to preach this past Sunday, actually, uh, on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 58. And uh, in that verse, Paul's talking about how because of Christ's sacrifice, because he's because of what he's done for us on the cross, we should be steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord, um, because the work of the Lord is not in vain. Mm. And so, uh, the the sermon was talking about making the most of your marble, and the marble represented the day. So I won't give you the whole, <laughs> the yeah. whole thing, but yeah. uh, you know, it's just it, it was a reminder to me, and hopefully to to others and to whoever hears this that. We're not promised more than one day at a time, and we have to uh, to make the most of the time that the Lord's given us here on earth and just trust that he's going to be faithful if we're faithful to him. Even when we're not, we know that he's with us. Yep. So that's, yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, how so how did you come to know Christ like like, like from like an early age? Like how how did you know like that he was real to you? And yeah. Like okay. how, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good way to ask it. I haven't heard it put that way before, because you know a lot of people feel like their testimony is just generic. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I I could I could probably say that mine fits in that uh, category, but I don't see it as that as generic. Like you said, when did God really mean something to me? Um, yeah. So I was. I grew up in church. I grew up uh, in a Christian home with uh, Christian parents that taught me scripture and taught me how to live for the Lord. And I, I was grateful for that. And um, at a pretty young age, uh, I don't remember what happened or anything like that that was going on at church. But I came home and my mom told me that I started asking her a bunch of questions about salvation and I wanted to go to heaven and stuff like that. And she said that uh, we called the pastor and talked to him on the phone, but I don't remember any of that. 
Um, yeah. not, even, not even a little bit, to be honest with you. I think I was probably six or seven around the time that happened. Yeah. Um, so it, you could say that that's when I had a, a profession of faith, you know, because in my opinion, I don't think it happened for real until a couple of years later. I was around the age of 13, maybe 14, um, and uh, we were at a different church by this time. Uh, we had moved to um, my home church, which is Shoal Creek Baptist in Slapout, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So we were there, and there was a guest speaker, and uh, he got to the invitation, and he asked the question. He said, uh, everyone is in their own boat. Okay, you have your own rowboat. And um, he asked are you the one that's in control of the boat? Are you the one that's that's rowing the oars and steering your own direction? Or are you taking the back seat and you letting Christ steer where your life's going to go? And I realized at that point that I had never surrendered my my boat, per se, or my life to Christ. And I, um, I've heard it several times since then, put it a different way, and it's uh, in a car. Um, because people... You know, often we'll take the back seat to a car and just say, you know, I'll, I'll let Jesus drive. But really, Jesus is the driver and you're the co-pilot. You're right there with him and, yep. and uh, you're not helping him navigate, but you're just you're you're in it. You're in it for the ride. You're not yep. supposed to be completely hands off, you know, but yep. um, I think that's when I came to salvation in Christ. Uh, I professed him as my Lord and Savior. And, um, you know, a, a testimony certainly is is part of uh, the salvation story, but it also should be what's going on afterwards. So yep. about a year later, maybe a little bit more than that, uh, after I made that um, profession, then uh, I went on my first international mission trip to Brazil with my dad. And I, it was there that the Lord really opened my eyes to uh, the Great Commission and also to how he wants to use us and, and myself uh, as part of the body of Christ to fulfill that great commission. And so uh, he put a really big burden on my heart uh, that summer to to go into missions. And, and I didn't know what that meant. And um, I didn't know what that meant all the way up until I was a high school and senior, I mean, a senior in high school. And um, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that God was calling me to full-time ministry. Awesome. So I prayed about it and... Um, Carly and I were both feeling called to that uh, at separate times and separate ways. Um, so we just were praying about it, and the Lord led us to the University of Mobile where we met you. Yeah. A bunch of other great Christian friends who encouraged us, and we've um, walked together and cried and laughed together many yeah. times. But he's taught yeah. us a lot of things, and we've made lifelong friendships. And uh, about a year ago, um, the Lord led uh, Carly and I to move to uh, North Alabama, where I'm currently a youth pastor. And yep. uh, we've seen a lot of uh, fruit come from that, not because of what we've done, but just because of how uh, God's been faithful to to his work. And um, we've seen uh, Carly do a lot of cool things. She's a, a teacher aide at the local middle school, uh, mm -hmm. where she's got a, a great opportunity to to reach kids and uh, of course to serve them. Um, but we've also got an opportunity coming up uh, over the next couple of months where we might potentially be able to uh, teach students um, about the Bible during school hours. So it's a, it's a new legal thing that's going on. And uh, I can't really min mention much more than that because it's got to go through the legal process, but that's, that's what we're looking towards. Yeah. Yeah. Like we definitely need, we definitely need God back in our schools, definitely. Mm, certainly. And, um, yeah. Uh, oh, like, um, is y'all's VBS coming up? Yeah, we have VBS coming up in, uh, I think, three weeks from now. Uh, man, our summer schedule is pretty crazy. I know yours is, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, um, ours is starting. Uh, so, so yeah. Well, like, I'm helping out at first base, so, like, I'll be doing – like v video stuff so 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 yeah like pretty much my uh, first couple of days like when i started the internship was was touring like getting familiar like with all the areas and things like that like it's a big church is that first baptist church and enterprise and um just trying to get familiar like with the locations on like where to go and stuff because like, there's a lot of rooms in that church yeah. and yeah like and uh but um uh, i've learned how to use um 
I think it's an HG5 camera or something like that. And okay. uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like I've done a couple of test shots and things like that. And um, I've been reading through this book, uh, How to Think Like a Filmmaker or something like that. Mm. I'm on chapter two. And uh, so, yeah, just been keeping track of things and uh, pretty much. So, 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 like I'm shadowing uh, Anthony, like he's pretty much the, the tech guy of the church. So, uh, learning how to work a soundboard, pro presenter, like, which, well, I wish I kind of know how to do pro, pro presenter, but, uh, yeah, was, that's, it's a tough program, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah. So, like, this Sunday, uh, I was learning how to learn how to work, uh, the live stream. Mm-hmm. So, I, live by switching through channels and stuff like that but like i'm not quite confident in that yet like i'm starting to get the idea of it but like i want to get some practice in on that and uh, yeah. and we are going to be working on cl- cleaning out two two closets and like w- one closet is called the jesus closet because it's like right next to a painting of jesus and so yeah like okay. yeah jesus closet and <laughs> like I pretty much named the other one the uh, the the, the uh, short closet because it's like really, really short. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, funny. And, yeah. And um, but but yeah, like yes, but like pretty much. So 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 yes, like I was in a staff meeting today, and like we, I was kind of get how they do all the meetings and stuff, but then like I met the pastor. So yes, like the pastor and. Uh, Chris, he's like the music director, but like they went to school with my mom. Oh, okay. so, so yeah, like pretty much. So yeah, like my like my mom knows a lot of people. Like she is pretty much a celebrity because yeah. like she knows a lot of people and like a bunch of people like pretty much know her because like I'm her son. Like uh, like like most people will say like like are you coach Peterson? I'm like yep. And uh, so so yeah, like it's crazy like how how many people know who we are and like there's like a few people i know at the church like i saw i saw so like on my first day i saw my uh my third grade teacher miss bryant and like well like at first i didn't know like like that it was her well like i i was on the phone with anthony trying lot like trying to figure out like where to go and then she stepped down she was like what are you doing and like <laughs> yeah at first, I thought like like oh my gosh like is she met at me or something like hey, <laughs> just trying to get d- d- directions and stuff. But yeah, like she was really happy to see me. I saw, I saw my uh, eighth grade or seventh grade science teacher, Miss Hamlin. She uh, goes there. So 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 yeah, like like mom said, like that there's like a like that there's some people that I, like that there's people that I know that I went to school with and things like that. So so yeah. Cool. But uh, yeah, like it's been going pretty good, and um, I- I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah like t- today we didn't do very much, but uh, like, like, like plus, like we had this funeral and things like that. But like, so, so yeah, like for lunch, so, so yeah, like um, each Tuesday they go out to this Mexican restaurant called Toretto's, and uh, there is like, and like I for the first time I tried fajitas and mm. uh, like. It it was all right, but uh, all right. What'd you get? Chicken or shrimp or steak? Uh, uh mix. So okay. so so yeah. Like it pretty much had chicken, steak, mm-hmm. bell peppers, everything. So yeah, a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, like I tried it and it was really good. And uh, so yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. Like, so like Anthony, like he like drives a stick, and it's like a 2012 stick, and um, like. Like he keeps on going back and forth, like with the joystick, because it's a, because mm-hmm. yeah, like I'm like good, and I'm glad I do not drive a stick. <laughs> I'm like, it's uh, tough. Yeah, I'm like good, and not, and um, yeah, but um, yeah. yeah, my my granddad taught me how to drive a stick, but he lived on a really steep hill, uh, so you had to start at the bottom, and if you didn't immediately get it into uh into first, and then shift it to second, by the time. Yeah. Up the hill, you were gonna stall out. So. I'm like, I'm like, dang, no, I couldn't do that. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I'm trying to think of something else to talk about. Uh, oh yeah, uh, have you seen Micah? Le- or have you talked to Micah lately? No, I haven't seen him since uh, since we saw him in Mobile. Um, when when we were when were we down there? 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was it a some wedding or something? Or? Yeah, it was some. Oh, it was. Um, Farley had. Um, oh yeah. Had, um, yeah. What do you call that? Not a bridal shower. Bachelorette weekend. That's yeah. What, yeah. 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 yeah, so we're actually going, we're coming down to Mobile this weekend, actually. Uh, she's getting married on Saturday. Um, mm. So, yep, we'll be in Mobile oh. Saturday. Yep, that's awesome. Yep, yep. Uh, so, I wish I was VBS theme for this year. It's uh, Breaker Rock Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, like that. Yeah, that's, what's, that, that's what uh, at First Baptist is as well. Oh, y'all are doing the same one? Yes, but like... Well, like instead of a five day week, we're like doing it from Monday through Wednesday. So, oh, so okay. yeah. yeah. So, so, I've seen so, a lot of churches doing that lately. They'll start on like Sunday night or Monday morning and they'll mm-hmm. finish on Wednesday night. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'll be uh, doing like, like a bunch of video. I'll be, vi- vi- I'll be videoing kids and I'll learn how to edit stuff. And um, so, yeah, like he's so I, Anthony has been kind of like, like walking me through like how to edit uh live streams and things like that so yeah yeah like i'm trying to learn a lot but like i'm trying to process everything like it's a lot to process but yeah but uh yeah yeah like just be uh praying for me for that so yeah Yeah, i will yeah so you're doing media are you doing anything else like are you working under any ministry staff or anything like that uh well like a uh, college or something uh no, this is um I think this is just staff or something, but okay. uh, yeah, well, that's a good thing to, to know how to do because that, that's what I did when I was at um, Dolphin Way. Mm. I, I worked a little bit with college, but I mainly worked with media. Yeah, so yeah, that's well, how I do a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, like well, like it's basically like media. So yeah, like um and uh, but like I I am I am gonna get plugged in with a college group or something and. Uh, yeah, or something like that, and uh, yeah, and there's gonna be a Sunday school group and uh, things like that. So yeah, I'll be participating in that, and uh, yeah. So um, yeah, so yeah, like let 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 let's talk about the uh, Reaper chat, the 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 uh, Reaper movie. So like, out I, I, out of all three movies, which one was your favorite? I honestly, I think it's got to be the first one. Oh, um, I'm gonna tell you why I think it was the first one. All right, so. I love the whole the whole series of how uh, you know it's action filled and and mm-hmm. those are my kind of movies. I love action movies. Yes, uh, they're kind of like you know uh, Jason Bourne style, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. And, but and I, John- I I love. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Like I I, I, I was adding on like light they're like pretty much everything like action based, like with Jason Bourne, uh, mm-hmm. John John Wick things like that so yeah. yeah yeah and what's that other movie um james bond no uh oh shooter yeah shooter yeah, yeah shooter it's, it's it's like a style of all of those kind of combined mm-hmm. so i really like the style of them but i think honestly my favorite i think i think why i like the first one as my favorite is because in the middle of the battle like where the audience would be like the most intently focused uh you slow it down and then you have Jamie come in and you share the gospel with her in a very engaging way. Oh, oh, oh wait, that, oh wait, that was with the Bourne movie. That's oh, the, <laughs> was that yeah, not, the, okay, yeah. was that not the Reaper? No, no, like that was the Bourne movie. No, like she, so, so like she was witnessing the, the, uh, the uh, gospel to, to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, like, that's what it was. <laughs> But uh well I I, back. sorry. Yeah, so but yeah, like with the Reaper movie, so so yeah, like er, well like er, everybody loves two, like okay. like the second one. Mm-hmm. I guess because it was like a great sequel because I've, yes, I've seen them. I remember that now. I just I had it backwards. I was thinking yeah, that uh, right. but, yeah. All right. I, I but, don't know. I still think the first one's my favorite though. Yeah. I don't know. What's your favorite one? Well, like, well, like, like mostly, everybody's been saying too is the best. Like, my, like, uh, like Micah agrees too, and uh, like I'm, I'm gonna have to go with two, and then three, and then the first one. Okay. I mean, I mean, like, I liked how they all flowed like to 
worked together because like when when I was making two and like once I got it all done, I'm like, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? But like everybody loved it. Like yeah, yeah. Like plus everybody loved that a uh, cliffhanger at, at the end. And like plus like I love the opening scene like where I beat up Ty and yeah. And the, now that was a good yeah. And um, but yeah, and um, yeah. Yeah, like that's pretty much yeah. And I, uh, I we watched um, Olsenheimer the other night. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was good. Now I, we haven't seen Oppenheimer, so we can't compare it. Yeah, like but yeah. Think, like, wait, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Good. I was just gonna say I think Olsen was a great actor. I didn't expect his his acting to be that good. Yes, <laughs> really good. <laughs> yes, yes. I got to hold a boom mic for like one of those scenes, like when he was light saying, "Like why a lightsaber?" I think it was that scene. Mm-hmm. And like I was in a couple of extra scenes. And I like, saw you, and I saw your name yeah. in the credits. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was fun. Like, and uh, mm-hmm. yes, yeah, so, like I, I, I did enter a movie for uh for uh, that. Uh, it was John Riz. And, uh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, yeah, like it's on my channel. But, uh, okay, yeah, uh, is it? Yeah, like what? It's on your channel. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like so, I like, got the festival. Camden like made a bunch of these brochures mm-hmm. here, and uh, he also made movie posters for all the movies. So yeah, this was for the like this one. Well, it was for mine. And, uh, yeah, like, and, um, but yeah, it, it was really great. Like everybody was, yeah, like everybody, yes. Like I'm thinking about like making a sequel or something or, or, or like maybe a third one. Like, um, like, I, I don't know. Like they're like up in the air. I don't know. I may do, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, is school going to be real busy for you this year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, so I'm doing my senior internship this summer. And well, I, I was going to do my junior internship this past semester, but I ran out of time. So in the fall, I'll do my junior at Mars, and then I'll do my senior project in the spring. Okay, I got and, you. And and uh, yes, I will have to retake a class. Like I did not do well in one class, so so like I passed all my other classes, but I had a D in one class, and uh, it it was a tech class. It was. Yeah, like I did not do too well on the quizzes or on the tests and stuff like that. And, um, but uh, yeah, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, this year and like we're 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 going to be doing a lot, like a lot more stuff with Mac and Molly. I'm really excited for that. Okay, and, cool. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yep, that's fun. A fun fact: Tyler and I were were Mac together at one time. Yeah, definitely mascots yeah like you you me and micah and uh mm-hmm. yeah like, i still have that photo of like of all three of us and yeah uh, yeah that was yeah that was awesome if only we'd had three suits yeah, definitely yeah and yeah that would make what a whole lot like spider-man meme where you <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, oh man yeah man i can't believe i'm going in, in, into my senior year man it's going by so quick man it's real fast, and it only gets quicker. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to enjoy every bit I can of it. And, yep. Uh, yep. Where are you living? I think I'll be in Bedsole this year. So, okay. So yeah, like, um, so yeah, freshman year lived in Sanford, and then sophomore year the colleges, and then I got Sanford again, and um, now I. I'm rooming with uh, Ethan Morton, who uh, who uh, played the uh, bad guy in in two, okay. and uh, yeah, he's a great guy, and he's also on on the cheer team, mm. and uh, so yeah, we'll probably be in bed soul, and um, yeah, cool. Which one's your favorite between the cottages and Sanford? Uh, I would have to say, like. I like both the cottages in Sanford. Well, I well, like I like Sanford because it's more commutative. The cottages is like in between. The, uh, I do like the more space in the cottages, like like that way you can have more people over and things like that. But uh, yeah, but 
Yeah, it is what it is. Like I like I like both. I cannot decide like which one's the best, but yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, hmm. yeah. We're looking forward to this year, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. So, yeah, I bet it will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Been like y'all need to let me know like when y'all are, all, are gonna be down there again, so like we can build something. So yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. We just about don't have too many friends left down there. Uh, yeah. we've got, we've got you and, um, yeah, I, I think Carly has, um, a few friends that she was friends with after I had already graduated. Mm. Uh, I haven't met them. Um, and then, you know, um, Cooper and Rose are still there, but they're not in school anymore. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, like, when are they getting in, like, when are they getting married? Uh, I think September or October, maybe. Mm. I, I'm not. I don't remember exactly when, but uh, mm. it's coming up soon. It's coming up. It's coming mm. up pretty soon. Awesome. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we're just about to wrap it up. You want to close that with a verse and prayer? Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, my my favorite verse is First uh, Corinthians ten thirty one. It says, "Let whatever you do, uh, whether you eat or drink, be for the glory of God." and I do it for the glory of God. And and that's just kind of been my my theme verse over the past couple of years, and uh, it's really hit home in a different way over these past couple of weeks. It's just that everything we do, everything uh, should be for the glory of the Lord because we're not promised more than one day at a time. So I just encourage you in that and yeah. uh, anybody else that hears that and myself mm-hmm. as well um, that – we're called to make the most of the time that the Lord's given us because while we might not be um, condemned for our sins because Christ has forgiven us, God's yep. word does say that we will be judged by our works and that he'll reward us based off of that. Yep. Um, but I think a bigger motivation for me rather than a reward is just that I just want I just want to honor God with, with what I do, whether I eat or drink or yep. whatever end up or whatever it is so uh, that's just my my challenge really the lord's challenge <laughs> to all of us so but let's pray all right lord i thank you for this time lord with uh with tyler and i thank you for his um commitment to you lord and as a, a brother in christ lord i thank you for uh, his love and his passion for you and for um your people and for the people that are lost as well lord i pray that you please help us to to glorify and honor you and all that we say we think and we do um with all of our time here on earth that you've blessed us with lord we recognize that uh it's not by our our own power that we're still here lord but uh every breath that we take is because you allow us to and um we should we should strive to seek and honor you with every breath that we have because you've given us a, a purpose and a mission for being here You don't call us up into heaven the moment that you save us because you have a purpose for us to to glorify you and to to share your word and love with others um, and encourage one another while we're still here on this earth. God, I I pray for Tyler that you would help him uh, this summer as he seeks to to do this internship, Lord. I pray that you please teach him things uh, that would help him to further uh, his ministry and you and and his, uh, that you would grow his passion for, for what he's doing with filmmaking and that he would just use it to honor you and that people would come to know you through that and that opportunities would come um, because of uh, what you're doing through him. And I pray that you please just help him uh, as he goes into this next school year, his, his uh, senior year at UM, that you would teach him things as only you can, Lord, and that you would just uh, bring more friends around him and, and that his time in, in school and in church and with uh, family and friends wouldn't be uh, a waste or, or anything like that, but that it would be glorifying to you and that it would be uh, encouraging and good for Tyler and for those that are around him. Uh, thank you for him, for his heart, Lord. Thank you for uh, allowing me to be able to come on here and just hang out and uh, just be able to, to fellowship with one another, even if it is over the phone. We love you. We thank you for all you do for us, God. You're good, and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, man. Appreciate you. And uh, I'll, I'll be praying for y'all. And, I appreciate uh, you, bro.
and uh, hope to see y'all around. So, yeah. yeah, we love you, bro. And let us know if we can do anything for you. All right, appreciate it, man. Love you. Yeah.